We can get through this. If it only happened last night, there's still time. Time? Time for what? I don't know how I let this happen. I never have unprotected sex. This is the first time I've ever missed taking my pills. I, it's just last night we got carried away. And... Listen to me. Listen. You're not pregnant. Not yet. I know from nursing class that it takes up to three days before the sperm even meets the egg, and then another four to six days for the egg to implant in the uterus. I don't care how many days it takes. There's nothing I can do about it now. I mean, listen. I'm telling you this because my friend and her boyfriend forgot to use condoms once. She went to the doctor the next morning and he gave her emergency contraceptive pills. You're talking about an abortion pill. No, Amy. I'm talking about the morning after pill. This is not RU486. RU486 actually ends an existing pregnancy, but emergency contraceptive pills start working in the days before so that you don't even get pregnant in the first place. So this is different. Totally. Emergency contraceptive pills are an entirely responsible option to avoid unintended pregnancy. They can be taken when regular birth control methods are not used properly or are not used at all, or in the unlikely event a condom breaks. Emergency contraception pills are also a defense against becoming pregnant after rape. Emergency contraception pills work just like all hormonal methods of contraception, such as birth control pills, and can prevent pregnancy by delaying or inhibiting ovulation, inhibiting fertilization, or inhibiting implantation of a fertilized egg. But they must be used within three days after unprotected sex. Emergency contraceptive pills, also known as ECPs, EC, the morning after pill, or Plan B, are more effective the sooner you take them. Remember, ECPs are a more concentrated dose of the same hormones found in regular birth control pills and will not cause an abortion if a woman is already pregnant. Each year, 300,000 women between the ages of 15 and 24 are raped in the United States. Experts estimate that at least 25,000 pregnancies occur as a result of reported rapes and sexual assaults. Timely use of ECPs could prevent up to 22,000 of these pregnancies. Our daughter was raped. It happened when she went out with a guy she just met. He wouldn't take no for an answer. Thank goodness the emergency room physician told us about emergency contraception. EC should be used in an emergency and not take the place of other methods of contraception. EC does not protect against sexually transmitted diseases, including HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. The cost in Ada Pharmacy is generally around $35. And because ECPs work best the earlier you take them, it makes sense to have them on hand as a backup to your normal birth control method. We had two days alone without the baby. It was the perfect romantic getaway, but I forgot my pills. I was glad we had ECPs to take so we could prevent another pregnancy. We want another child, but not so soon after the first. If you're having sex or even considering it, you should see your family doctor or go to your nearest health care clinic and get some good information about abstinence, birth control options, and ECPs, emergency contraceptive pills. ECPs are perfectly safe. There are no medical risks associated with taking ECPs. They won't harm you or affect your future ability to become pregnant. Women in other countries have had access to ECPs and used them safely and effectively for more than 20 years. The side effects of ECP are generally moderate and resemble those that occur with other oral contraceptive methods. The most common side effects associated with ECPs are nausea in 30 to 50 percent of women and vomiting in 15 to 25 percent of women. Other less common side effects include fatigue, breast tenderness, headache, abdominal pain, or dizziness. ECPs are very different than the abortion pill, which is called RU486 or mifepristone. ECP is a method of preventing a pregnancy, not ending a pregnancy. In fact, ECPs will not work if you're already pregnant. So, if you use ECPs and are unknowingly already pregnant, they will have no effect on the fetus or cause any birth defects. Okay, but Sandra, my parents would totally flip out about this. Amy, look, 
Here in South Carolina, anyone over 16 has the right to have their health care information kept private. It's the law. But I can't go to my family physician. I mean, I've known him forever. That would be way too weird. So there are other doctors out there. Look, we can go to a local health clinic or Planned Parenthood or not too late. What? Not too late. It's a website and hotline that lets people search for an ECP provider close to where they live. I can't talk to a total stranger on the phone about this. This is hard enough as it is. It's automated. You just put in your zip code. You said there's a website too? Yeah. And it works the same way? Yes. Let's go do it now.